Sure. But first off, I'd like to thank all the fans for coming out. I thought, you know, really gave our team a big lift uh, tonight with the atmosphere and energy in the arena. Uh, and then I'm just, you know, really proud of our guys. I, I thought they played with tremendous effort uh, and really a lot of unselfishness at the offensive end. Uh, that's what we want our team to look like. And so I thought it was a complete performance. Um, everyone contributed. I thought it started with our preparation uh, the last couple of days in practice that carried over in today's shoot around. And, and I thought you saw that out there tonight. Uh, coming off a tough loss, what was kind of the mindset and what were you guys kind of working on this week leading up to today? Well, number one, uh, three point defense. Uh, for whatever reason, we've struggled. Uh, I can go through it's a long list of reasons, but we haven't done the job there. That's been a staple of our program in recent years. And so I was really concerned coming into the night where they have C.J. Jones, who's top 20 in the country in three-point shooting. They have Antonio Green, who's number two amongst all college players in active uh, career made threes. And so we really challenged our team to get after it defensively. And I thought you saw that. I, I thought our effort was, was outstanding. And to, to hold two players of that caliber to 0 a 13 from three, I think started it. Uh, and then just I thought our – we still had too many turnovers, 16, but our unselfishness and our execution offensively, the inside-outside balance was very good. And to assist on 23 of our 32 baskets, that's what we need to do uh, to become the best team we can be. Javon's first start tonight. What factored into that decision, and how do you think he played tonight? Oh, he was awesome. Uh, he, he's gotten a lot better the last three weeks in practice. I, I think people forget he, he missed most of the summer. Uh, due to injury, uh, so he was a little bit behind as we got into the fall. Uh, but I think he's really learned quickly. Uh, he impacts winning uh, by his defensive presence. Uh, he protects the rim for you. Uh, he's a very unselfish offensive player, a great screener, uh, and he can finish plays around the goal. And you know, he's just at the end of the day, he's my kind of guy. So I was, he earned that start, and I thought he. Played very well. Coach, but was it the player that managed his minutes? I saw he only, he only played what, around 19 minutes tonight. So was that? Was no, I mean, I, I probably should maybe look at it another way. I just kind of go with feel on some of that. Um, you know, he, he got he got banged up a couple times and needed a sub. Um, but we, we've got another player uh, who came in at that spot, KJ Williams, who I, I think is terrific. I thought he responded very well. Had a good week of practice. Had his best practice today at our shoot around. I thought that carried over to the court. And you, know, you look at KJ, 22 points, nine rebounds. I mean, he was awesome. Uh, does it even, at this point, does it even matter if KJ starts if he can just continue to do 22 and nine? Yeah, I, I say it all the time. I could care less who starts, who plays. I just want us to be the best team we can be. Yeah, there are, there are some guys who sort of thrive coming off the bench. Is KJ the type of guy that you see being that guy? I mean, we'll see. Um, I just, I mean, it doesn't matter. It's a difference. In, do, you, do you play with 20 minutes on the clock or 16 minutes and 30 seconds? It'd be, you just got to go play basketball. And I thought he was very good doing that tonight. Coach, you said that the last, uh, at the Missouri State game, four or five guys gave great effort. What's that number tonight? Oh, I think everyone who played, was they maxed out. Uh, I, I thought we flew around defensively, uh, you know, plus 14 on the glass. They were uh, seven assists to 15 turnovers. We were 23 assists to 16 turnovers. I mean, so, I mean, you can go through all these stats, and that sums up the game. Uh, but I thought preparation. you got to prepare to win. You know, we had great practices the last couple of days. Uh, as I mentioned, our best shoot around today. And then I thought, our second half offensive performance on Tuesday, where we scored 47 points. The ball moved. Um, we shared the ball. We got good shots. We had good balance inside, outside. I thought that carried over to tonight. Uh, so we got to keep getting better there moving forward. You guys had a 12 2 rebounding edge in the first three minutes. I mean, was that something just from the jump you told your team just coming out of the line, like go win the battle on the glass? Well, I don't think it's any secret. Ed, I think that should be a strength of our team. You know, we have good rebounders. You know, we have good size. And 
at the end of the day, rebounding is a lot about effort. Now, I thought we were able to force a lot of missed shots early in the game. And I know in the first half, uh, there were 18 rebounding opportunities, and we got 17 of them on our defensive end. Uh, only gave up one offensive. We gave up a few there on long rebounds in the second. Uh, but, but I thought that was important uh, for us to establish ourselves there on the glass tonight. You know, I've said it the whole time. I think Daquan's a really good player. He missed a full year of basketball. His wasn't one of those red shirts where you practice every day, uh, where you're in individual workouts. He did nothing for almost a full year. So it takes some time. And I think you see him getting more and more comfortable. I thought he really had great command of the team tonight. And then defensively, you know, he guarded Green, who was a red shirt senior elite level guard and I thought he did a great job on him uh, so I so I thought he was very good there and then Tevin was seven assists to one turnover as well so I, I think that's really important uh, JV on four assists two turnovers so you look at your three starting guards 20 assists six turnovers you know, it gives you an opportunity to win games How about, uh, speaking of JV on uh, his transition from a standstill shooter to being able to put the ball on the floor how big is that well, I was really proud of him. I thought he was fantastic tonight. He, he's grown in so many different ways. He's a leader for us now. He communicates at all times on the court. Last year, he was very quiet. He's really, with great intention, made big strides there. And he works. I mean, the guy, where he was in the gym shooting this morning, uh, he was 30 minutes early to shoot around, worked out again. He stayed after the shoot around and shot for 30 more minutes. I got back for the game, and he was in the practice facility shooting again. I mean, it just works. And, you know, we, we big believer in that. I think that hard work's undefeated, and, and I was happy to see him get the results. I thought his shot selection was really good. His movement without the basketball uh, was outstanding. If you put a guy like Jason Holiday, and I know you're not expecting big points out of him, but for him to get his first basket tonight, how exciting was that? Well, and I know our players enjoyed seeing that for him. Uh, he's such a hard worker. He's an excellent defender. Uh, he's a great rebounder at the guard position. His offense will come. You know, he averaged 18 a game last year in a very good junior college league. I just, you know, I, I haven't said a word. I just want him to play with confidence. I think he's a very good player, and he'll continue to get better. Um, no minutes from Darnell Forbes tonight. Uh, medical thing, or just just coach's decision. Just coach's decision. We've got a long stretch of time here uh, to work on getting him healthy improving conditioning, uh, and really gearing up for league play. Would that decision have been made if the game was tighter? Coach's decision. All right, Matt. Thank you. All right, thanks a lot. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. We'll probably have a final here before Matt comes. Testing, testing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, 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 two, three, one. Hey, you So that music's coming from my locker room. Yeah. Yeah, I know you're happy. You guys are a bit ecstatic. Go ahead. Was he a twin song? One, one. I like it in the background. I mean, you think it's going to bother you guys? I mean, I think he's a great opposite. What do you think? You don't want the baby in the background? I'll bother by it. We're going to have this thing turned to him. What I actually, what I actually really like is the vibrating bass. Yeah, we're gonna have this thing turned in here. We got the baby in the background while we're doing it. <laughs> okay. Uh, got shit popping in this thing, boy. <laughs> All right, we'll go ahead get Daquan in for the first time. Uh -huh. I'm excited about that. Wow. So, don't think so. If you guys get questions, then go ahead. That's it. I tell you what. You want to switch? Sorry. Let, let me. Let me just get it turned down a little bit. Oh. See, we got Racer Dave in here. He need to be out of here. <laughs> Racer messing up the background music. We in here trying to turn up during the interview. I actually am curious what are you guys listening to right now? That's Rod Wave. That's Rod Wave right there. Yeah. I ain't saying it. New, 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 new hottest Florida rapper out right now. <laughs> Racer Wade, don't race. I mean, <laughs> he said Racer Wade. <laughs> Racer don't want to hit him. Rod Wave. 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 Rod Wave.
Yeah. Yeah. Man, I'm showing my whole Why yeah. the brings up you looking at the mugshot? So, I mean, <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> Might be a mugshot. <laughs> is, okay. it, is it quiet enough now, Ray? It's quiet enough for you? You got it? Yeah. All right. He just brings a lot of energy to the to the team. Like he he's very like energetic. Like so. Tevin, just from from your perspective, obviously it's a dominant performance, but start to finish, maybe the first one of the season uh, for you guys. I mean, and was it scout? Was it offense? Was it defense? What was it that got you guys started tonight to keep that line going? We played a lot harder on defense than we have been playing, and I feel like that helped a lot. We guarded the three-point line a lot better than we have been doing. And our practices preparing for this game have been a lot more focused and energetic, and we really look like we were ready to play today and shoot around. So I feel like that helped us a lot. Having like my coaches and my teammates trust me with the ball most of the time, and I just work on it a lot. And just make the right passes, my right reads, and doing all that stuff. Just it's just my role to get people open and find open man. Last game out, first half you guys had zero assists. This half you have uh, eleven assists in the first half. How much of a focus was was that and, and practice? It was a big focus because we know when we move the ball, we're at our best. When people are just playing one-on-ones, everybody just stands around. And when we throw the ball in the paint, we know it's going up. And most of the time, it's going in if we get in that certain spot. So that was a big key for us to move the ball and share the ball. Uh, KJ doesn't start, but he still almost has a double-double off the bench. How huge is it for – how big is his offensive game for you guys? His offensive game is very big. KJ can do a lot of things, but he's at his best when he's inside the paint. I don't feel like anybody can stop him from scoring when he's down there. That's a big body to stop, and I don't think anybody can do it. What was the difference, though, for him? Because I know he had a great game at at Gulf Coast Showcase. He's very capable of hitting the three-pointer. What was the difference tonight? Was it just him coming off the bench, or was it just better looks for him? I feel like he built his confidence up more in practice than he has been in the past, and I feel like that helped him a lot. Uh, they told us the guards that they have are some of the best three-point shooters in the country right now. And we've obviously been doing a bad job in guarding the three-point line. And I feel like that's where we lose most some of our games at. And I was just focused on keeping them from shooting threes and people from scoring. I got Tevin Brown, JV, and KJ, those guys. Offense, I mean, I don't really got to do too much on offense, but get them the ball in defense. It really starts with me because I'm the lead guard up top. So I just try to bring a lot of pressure, do a lot of talking, be in the gaps, helping, and all that. JV has a really good game tonight. What's it like, Ben, watching him grow over the past year? I love it. I mean, obviously, he was a lot bigger last year than he is this year. He. <laughs> <laughs> he made a big jump over the summer, losing 25 to 30 pounds and getting himself in shape to be able to play as many minutes as he's been doing. And it's just, it's a lot of fun playing next to him. Tevin, you played 159 of 160 minutes. <laughs> Something I know that's been noted, and, and, and I can tell you've noted it as well. How nice was it tonight for you guys to come away with a big lead so you could just take a break from that? I mean, obviously, I don't mind playing that much, but. It it was it was a lot of fun seeing my other teammates get playing time when I'm sitting there watching. It was a lot of fun being able to cheer them on during the game. Middle hasn't, and either one of you guys can answer this. Middle hasn't. I know they haven't won a lot of games, but they haven't struggled offensively like this all season. Uh, from a scouting perspective, what was the mindset? Just take away Antonio Green and see what happens, or how did you guys work through what they do? Take away the three point line. If we can take away the three point line, we take a lot of points from people because obviously. Right now in the game, three-point shots are a big part of the game. And if we take people out of that, I feel like we'll have a lot of success. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Oh.
Thank you. No. The final one? Yeah, here. 